I've got a cautionary thing for you this week on skip tracing, and especially if you're learning your skip tracing online. Hi, this is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com. I'm the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, and I am a number one best-selling author on private investigations. So look, here's the thing. If you're learning strictly online, and that's fine, we, you gotta start somewhere, and that doesn't that's not a problem. There are two different types of people teaching this online. Actually, there's you could probably divide the category into a few different. There's the people who are teaching it because they don't know how to do it, and the only way they can make money is to teach people how to do the thing that they really can't do. That's disturbing. By the way, make sure if you're buying any paid training from anyone that they've already produced the result in their life they're promising to produce in your in your life. So then there's the people who really know how to do it. But let's let's look at two different categories that are much more obvious to see when you're looking online. There are people who teach for skip tracing and say, for example, real estate and for business purposes. And there's people who teach skip tracing for private investigation purposes. Very big difference. And here's the thing you have to watch out for. If people are the people who are skip tracing for real estate sometimes they're just doing these bulk skip traces they're do, doing a lot of, at the same time and it doesn't matter if they what we in the business call leave a footprint or not right because their whole point is to find somebody uh, who owns a particular type of property or property they're interested in contact that person and make an offer to them so there's nothing covert about it however in our industry and in private investigations and in process serving, think about this. If you're skip tracing someone, you don't necessarily want them to know they were found at all, or you don't want them to know that they were found until you're standing in front of them with that service pack from the court, right? Huge difference. Be careful if you're learning methods that are kicking up dust, making noise, who could tip off your skip that you're looking for them. And make sure in our industry, if you have to do a covert skip trace, find them without them knowing they're being found, at least initially, then make sure you're learning that from private investigators or other people who have to do this covertly. Imagine uh, automobile repossessions, for example, prime example. Now, repos are one of the hardest locates there are anyways because people really are hiding their vehicles. It's just one of those tough ones to, to do. But if you start making noise or poking around so they know, wait, right now, this week, this morning, this afternoon, yesterday, somebody was making these weird calls to my mom's house asking about me. Man, that car, they're not going to drop their guard and leave that car where you can find it or get it. There's just a lot of things in our industry that are like that. So when you're learning skip tracing, make sure you learn the type that's right for what you're doing, what we in the business are doing. In my number one best-selling book, 51 Weird Private Investigator Tricks That Actually Work, you will find a variety of sources and methods in there that you can use without leaving a footprint, without giving the person a heads up that you're looking for them. In fact, I have a chapter titled Nine Different Skip Tracing Sources and Methods, I think is the title of it, but I've got in there a bunch of methods that you can use that are going to help you find the person without them knowing that they've been found. And yes, that's really, really helpful a lot of times in our business. In the meantime, this is Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.